Hey guys, and welcome back, 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 back to my channel. So, in today's video, I am going to be doing a collection video. I'm going to be doing a collection of my lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip balms. them all here in this drawer, which is very overfilled. So we have lots of different products in here, and I'm just going to be going over them today, trying to make some sounds along the way. then it's going to be taking things out one by one and just showing you some. The first thing that I have here is my Burt's Bees lip balm. I love these. I have a couple of these and this one is the watermelon one. Just a clear color but a very nice scent to it. It's a very moisturizing. I love Next, I have this Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color. I've had this forever. I really should get rid of it, but I love it. And this is in the shade Glinda. I actually really need to sharpen it. <laughs> but this is a very nice color. Really nice. It's just kind of annoying that you have to sharpen it every time and it, you know, you can't really carry it around with you because then you have to take the sharpener as well, so. But anyway, that's that. You can see the color there. It's really pretty. We have this Bushwa Paris 3D Effect Volume and Shine Elixir Gloss. Um, Eight Hours Balm Effect. This is in the shade Rose. It's this beautiful pink with some silver and purple glitters. But it's very, very light. The brush um, has like, it's a bristled brush. Has a very nice scent to it. But it's very sheer on the lips, not as bright as this. But it's very nice. So you have that. Let's see what else I have here. So I have this one from Deuce, I think is how you say it. Um, it's the Licious Lip Stain in the shade Amber Rose. So it looks like this very nice color. The color is really nice. I'm not a big fan of lip stains just because they tend to be quite drying and they sit in the lines. Um of your lips, but I don't particularly like this one. It's very drying. I know you're supposed to probably put like a lip gloss or a lip balm over top, but that's this one. It's kind of hard to get the cap on. Next, I have 
this one, this lipstick from Chanel. The packaging is really nice and sleek. And it has like a gold top. And it is the Rouge Ella Velvet 50 La Romanesque. I think the colour is La Romanesque number 50 from the Rouge Ella Velvet collection. I'm not too sure, I've had this for a super long time, so it's very nice. So how this works is you push it. is the lipstick itself. It says a very nice colour. Very pink. It looks a lot brighter actually on the camera than it is in real life. It's a little bit more darker than that. Um, and it is matte. Very, very pretty. Next I have a MAC lipstick. I've had this for such a long time. Again, I probably really need to throw it out. Uh, but it's the Cream Sheen and it's called Cream in Your Coffee. Look at this. There is nothing left. I was literally holding on but it's really lovely colour. It's... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a mauve kind of nudey, pinky. I'm not very good at describing things, but you can just see how nice that is. I've had it for years. Probably really need to repurchase it. lipsticks um, have been in my videos before. Um, if you want to see a lipstick lip gloss trying on video then you check out my channel because I have quite a few on there. Um, if that's something that you like. So this one is the L'Oreal. The labels gone away. I haven't actually had this for very long. I've probably only had this for a completely worn off so I'm not sure what the collection is I think I can kind of see I think it says color reach shine I think it says it's very difficult to see but this is a lip plumping lipstick this is a really beautiful color I really love this the camera's not really doing it justice but it is this really bright purpley pink and there's some really lovely purple glitters in there um yeah you can't really see it on the camera but there's some really nice purple sparkles in there so it's kind of iridescent really nice It's a lip pumping lipstick, so you put it on and then your lips will tingle. Okay. Because I have this one that's been in many of my videos. This is the Loritzi Cosmetics and the colour Power. I don't actually like this and I don't wear it, but I keep it purely for my videos. I do that with a lot of makeup. I don't actually wear them anymore, but um, I keep them for role plays and stuff like that. But yeah, this one is like a lip stain as well, and it just sits in all the lines, and it just doesn't look good at all. Don't like it. 
I have a couple of MAC ones here that are really old from old limited edition collections but I can't get rid of them because of that reason that they were limited edition so I have the MAC Hello Kitty lipstick I mean this is really going back now this is a really long time ago but I'm not about to throw it away because it's just so cute so it's like this it's a frost and it's in the shade Straying even has Hello Kitty on the lipstick itself. It's just a light pink and with some sparkles in there. Yep, I don't wear it, but I have to keep it because it's a special one. And this one is probably my favorite lipstick I own. It's beautiful, I'll never throw it away. This was from a, um, a I think it was the um, villains collection, Disney villains collection or something like that. So this one has Maleficent on it and it is an amplified lipstick and in the color Violet, Viol, Violetta. Look at that, that is just beautiful. It is so nice, such a, like an iridescent bright it looks a little bit OTT on the lips. It is so, so beautiful. So yeah, I don't think the actual shade was limited edition. I think this is just a standard, you know, a part of the actual collection, but it was, um, you know, in the Disney collection. So it's not limited edition or anything like that. It was just the packaging was different. But I really love this lipstick. It is so beautiful. Let's see, I have another Chanel one here. This one is as old as the hills, but I can't bring myself to throw it away. Um, the packaging is probably really old. I've probably changed the packaging since. This collection probably doesn't exist anymore. Um, it's the Aqua Marie, I think it says. And it's in the shade Waikiki. The Brilliant El Leaves Lip Shine. I think that's what this is. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And it's a very nice kind of everyday nude pink. Very nice, very classic, you know. So we have another Burt's Bees here. This is just the beeswax lip balm, vitamin E and peppermint. Um, I have these three lip colours that I got for Christmas. I've shown these before in a video. From Sleek Makeup. So, we have, it's the Matte Me Metallic Lip Cream in Electroplated Nude. And it's super metallic. Um, it actually looks really nice on the lips. It looks a lot better than I thought it would look. that one. This one is Velvet Slipper. It's quite a bit darker. Like a berry, yeah, like a berry colour. is Shabby Chic. I like this one the best. Just a very nice nudie pink.
Okay. Next, this one has appeared in so many of my videos, and this is from Revolution. I'm not too sure what the collection was, what it was, what it's actually called. Um, oh, it's the I Heart Chocolate Lip Gloss in Salted Caramel. And it actually smells like salted caramel. It is amazing. It's a really lovely colour, actually. Um, and considering it's quite a cheaper lip product, um, I think this was three pounds. It's actually really nice. It's quite thick consistency. Um, oh my god, I wish you could smell this. It's quite a thick consistency, but um, it's very nice and creamy. And I love this. So good. I have the Revlon lipstick. And look at this. Amazing. This is in the shade Fire and Ice from the Super Lustrous Lipstick Collection. It looks very intense here. I mean, it is pretty intense, but it's not quite as intense as it looks on the camera. I love that. And then I have this one from Milani. Uptown Mauve. Super bright. Yeah, that's what it looks like right there. That's the perfect right there. Very bright berry colour. Has a fruity kind of smell to it. It's quite unique. And the last one, I saved the best to last, and uh, you've seen this one before, but this one is an ASMR lip gloss, I'm sure, because it, the sounds that you get from this lip gloss are amazing. This is from Essence, and it's Shine, 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss in 01 Behind the Scenes. So yeah, this is kind of like a curved applicator, which is really unique. And this lip gloss was so cheap, it was two pounds. Actually smells really, really nice, absolutely love this. They had this in lots of different colours, and I actually went and used all the testers to see which one made the best sound. <laughs> The others all had glitter in, so they didn't make the sound. Didn't sound as good as this one, as the clear one, and it just sounded so much better. The consistency must be thinner.
just gonna leave it at that for now because it's just far too noisy. So yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you all in my next.